don't you guys just love it when we come up here to the farm and stay with my brother? I want to go home. There's the sun, the air, the great outdoors. I want to go home. What more could anyone want? TV, oh. pizza delivery, air conditioning, and internet connection, my own bed, and not being woken up at 5 a.m. by a stupid rooster. I want to go home. <laughs> I just wish Doc Boy didn't work so hard. Don't call me Doc Boy. You know what he needs? A companion. You know what I need? To go home. But I think you're working too hard. You're low too much. Doc Boy always works like that. Have I mentioned that I want to go home? I want to go home. Look, Garfield. I know you're bored. Here, huh? take my cell phone. There are plenty of games on there and you can access the internet. Maybe it'll keep you busy. I want to go home. Don't you ever do anything but chores? Not now, John. Can't you see I'm busy? I was trying to say that maybe you need a woman uh, in your life. I don't have time for a woman in my life. I have a farm to run. Care for an omelet? <laughs> you should have someone at your side. Someone to share the pleasures and trials of life. Where will I find someone? I work from dawn till dusk and I live in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> pizza? Gloria, you usually deliver packages. And I didn't order any pizzas. <laughs> No, but I have a strange hunch who did. Garfield, did you use my cell phone to order those from Vito's? Yes, and I still want to go home. So, how are you, Mr. Arbuckle? Busy. I have to slop hogs. Say, have you seen that new monster movie at the drive-in? It's still playing if you have it. Oh. Watch this. He'll blow it. I don't have time for monster movies. I have corn to pick. I told you. Oh. You want the crust? Mm. Too bad there aren't going to be any. <laughs> Here, I was kidding. By the way, I still want to go home. I'm telling you, she's interested in you. Oh. She's the rush around express driver. She's interested in picking up packages and delivering packages. It's not natural to live your life alone. Life is meant to be shared. You know what the three most wonderful words are in the entire world? Let's go home. John, could we discuss this after I plow the North 40? <gasps> <gasps> huh. uh. <laughs> Garfield, we need to pack. Oh, we're packed. <laughs> I don't want to stay here and watch my brother spend his life picking apples alone. <sighs> Hello? John, it's your brother. Sorry to wake you up at this hour. When you were here, you said something about the three most wonderful words in the world. But you didn't say what the words were. I love you. Well, I love you too, John. But what are the three words? Ah, I get it. Talk to you in the morning. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, that might be nice to hear once in a while. I'll get it. Of course you will. Oh, Doc Boy. I thought about what you said. You're right. I need a woman in my life. <laughs> Excellent! And the best place to find one is in the city. I had my friend Elmer drop me off, and he's going to be watching my farm for me. I'm going to stay with you until I find the love of my life. Yo! And, <laughs> and don't, don't call, call you Doc, Doc Boy. Boy, right. He said that as long as he's staying with us, he insists on cooking. Here you go, a nice healthy farm dish. Dandelion and wheatgrass soup. <laughs> ah. To grow proper root.
rutabagas, you need well-prepared soil in a sheltered area with full sun. That's good to know. You don't mind me watching my farm programs, do you? <sighs> no. Good, because there's a five-hour special on later about different kinds of shop. <laughs> We have to help that man meet someone so we can get Doc Boy out of here. <laughs> See you later, John. I'm going to town. <laughs> huh. Hi there. Gee, I seem to have lost my Nobel Peace Prize somewhere around here. Oh, no. He's just going to walk up to strangers and try to strike up a conversation? Huh? You're asking what could happen? Oh, well, I have several more at home. Say, I was wondering if... <laughs> that. You can't just approach strangers like that. It's rude. Oh, wait. This is promising. He's figuring out that there may be something wrong with that just fell off the tractor look. <laughs> He's going in to buy himself a new outfit. Odie, this is great. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad outfit if you want to look like Binky the Clown. Anyone out there remember Binky? Yeah, I didn't think so. Seven-foot-tall lady wrestler, age 70, who plays the bagpipes, seeking male any age who enjoys watching Bread Ghost Tale. Hmm, not for me. Excuse me, miss. May I hold your fine dog for you while you tie your shoelace? Why, that would be very nice of you. Here. Keep a good grip on him. He gets very upset if he sees a cat. Hey, she's actually talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. Down boy, mustn't chomp the kitty. Give me that. Hey, wait. Would you like to go out with me sometime? <sighs> Hi, Garfield. I'm not doing so well with women. I need a magic potion that will make them like me. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. This guy doesn't get it. There are no magic potions. It's just a matter of people liking each other. Hey. Huh? Try Philippe's cologne. Makes men irresistible to women. Sounds like just what I need. <laughs> that kind of thing never. One oh. whiff of this, and the ladies will love me. What is that wonderful smell? Is it you? It's, it's you. What is that fragrance? Oh, you smell so divine! Ladies, please, I'm from the farm. Don't get too excited. Huh? He's having a wet Please, ladies, I'm outnumbered. There you are, you wonderful smelling creature. You're mine, all mine. Yes, I'm yours, all yours. Let's go out to dinner some night. Where would you like to go? Anywhere that I can smell you. Oh, Henry. What are you doing with my girlfriend? 
I'm really sorry you couldn't find your soulmate, Doc Boy. Maybe you need to give it more than one day. Huh, or maybe I'm just meant to be alone. And don't call me, you know. Gloria, what brings you here? I didn't call for a pickup. We have a date, remember? A date? Yes, you send me these gorgeous flowers with the nurse's card. Dear Gloria, please accept these modest flowers. Would you go out with me tonight to see that monster movie at the drive-in? Oh, I thought you'd never ask me. But, but I, I, well, I... Garfield, huh? did you use my cell phone to order flowers for Gloria and compose that cheesy invite? <laughs> nice work. You see, Odie? You don't have to go out and find happiness. You just have to be willing to let it find you. Whoa, that was deep, wasn't it? Oh, oh Garfield, almost uh, forgot. Here's uh, your delivery. <laughs> And, of course, there are other ways of finding happiness. Baskets all packed. Now, where again is this forest we're going to? I have a map. It's a remote area, and nobody ever takes care of the animals up there or feeds them. <laughs> you love feeding animals, don't you? Ah, look who's talking. Speaking of which, where are... Oh, Odie's watching a fairy tale on TV, and Garfield's upstairs asleep. Have you vanquished the evil witch in the purple tree? Huh? You should be waking up any minute now. No, oh, what a strange dream. I was eating linguine and clams. Usually on Tuesdays, I dream about eating fettuccine and clams. <gasps> Let's see what time it is. Oh no, I'm missing my favorite show. <coughs> oh, I'm such the kingdom to find his true love. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Odie. I almost missed Eddie Gourmand. Today he's going to take a look at spaghetti and meatballs. Aww. Welcome to my show, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. On today's show, we're going to look at spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? This is the best show on television, apart from mine, of course. Oh, oh, I've gained three pounds just watching it so far. Odie, you'd rather watch some fairy tale than look at spaghetti and meatballs? Uh huh. <laughs> For the benefit of those of you who just joined us. We'll be looking at this plate of spaghetti and meatballs for an entire hour! <laughs> oh, and tomorrow is Chinese food day. We'll be looking at mugu gai <laughs> shrimp and oyster sauce, <sighs> chicken chow mein! Leave here and fight a little bit of Fairy tales are silly. I can make up a better story than this. <laughs> Liz and I are leaving. We'll be back late. Enjoy yourself, guys. We will. And don't get into any trouble. We will. You want me to read you a fairy tale? I have important things to do. Naps. More naps. Naps during other naps. Huh? <sighs> Uh, okay, we'll wait here a moment. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, ham and cheese on sourdough with brown mustard. Oh. Mm. That picnic basket looked heavy. It seemed lighter just now. About the weight of a ham and cheese on sourdough with brown mustard. Hmm. Ah, this one will do. Huh? What? All right, let's see. Once upon a time, I've read this story. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. Once upon a time, there was an extremely handsome cat. You want to know how handsome this cat was? <laughs> that handsome. Who is the cat who people celebrate? Me. It's me. Who is the one they all appreciate? Me. Yes, me. Who is the slyest? Who's on the rise? As you can see me. Still me. Who is the highest? Who takes the prize? Me. Not you. Me. Who wins the test? Above the rest. By now you guessed. You're impressed and I'm so blessed. I must suggest it's me. The very best it's me. He lived a quiet but happy life within the castle. Sometimes he would eat. And sometimes he would sleep. And sometimes he would eat and sleep. Saves time. The magnificent cat's life was good, except for three problems. One was an extremely dim-witted dog that was always asking him to throw a stick so it could be fetched. That's what it says here. Do you think I'm just making this all up? <laughs> Fine, let's move on. Where was I? Oh yes, uh, asking him to throw a stick so it could be fetched. All right, all right, just to be rid of you. For those of you who don't know, this is called a catapult. Catapult is an ancient weapon invented by Greek soldiers to hurl large boulders at their enemies. But it's even handier for this. <laughs> See you sometime around Halloween. So the dog with the long tongue was one of his problems. Another was the prince's twin nieces. There he is! There he is, the kitty cat! Oh no! So doomed. Let's play dress up. Let's no, do it. No, do it. Stop. We'll Call the palace the guard. Team. Call the royal Let's babysitter. Call the fashion really police. Yeah. What's 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 but I do not want to marry any of the women at the royal ball last night. Look, I'm just the royal food taster around here, but I know this. Royal law says that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. <laughs> and you know who the next in line is. Huh? Next in line was the royal viceroy. And he was not a nice man at all. All right, attention, peasants. When I take charge, I'll be instituting some new taxes. Let's see. Tax on inhaling, 
Tax on exhaling. Tax on holding your breath. Tax on not breathing at all. I protest these taxes! Tax on protesting these taxes. A tax on tying your shoes. A tax on wearing loafers. What if we go barefoot? Uh, a tax on going barefoot. Thank you. All right, a tax on thumbtacks. A tax on putting ketchup on a cheese sandwich. <sighs> His greed will destroy this kingdom. Which is why oh. you need to find a bride. <gasps> and soon, like tomorrow. <sighs> then marry I shall, even if I have to marry the next woman who walks through that door. <gasps> oh. huh? Huh? Well, maybe I could keep looking for a little longer. You know, he doesn't look good in that collar. He had been dining with every available maiden in the kingdom and was down to the last three. People say you gotta help humanity. I say, what has humanity ever done for me? Strike one. <laughs> me, 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 and only me. Must you speak all evening about yourself? You are right, Prince John. Let us speak about you now. What do you think of me? Hmm. Strike two! <laughs> so, uh, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, I'd like to get to know you! <laughs> Strike three! She's out! Boy, can you imagine trying to live with someone like that? <laughs> It was about then that the not-all-that-smart dog finally got back with the stick. Oh, hi. Well, it looks like the prince will never find a bride. The evil viceroy will be our new king. Bad for the kingdom, but I don't care that much. Nothing that evil, power-mad guy does will affect me. Attacks on watching cartoon shows. Attacks on blinking. Attacks on dancing with a monkey. See, that doesn't affect me. Attacks on vigorous exercise. See, that really doesn't affect me. Attacks on eating pasta, tomato sauce, or anything that contains cheese. See, none of these things affect me. <gasps> Attacks on pasta? No, 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 no. Unfair. Uh, tax Brussels sprouts. Tax health food. Tax anything with yogurt in it. Just don't tax lasagna. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. So the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to... Oh, wait. Time for a burrito break. Wait here. And don't you go anywhere either. I'll be back in one burrito. Upon a time, Prince John had to find a bride, and he needed one soon. That if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Next in line was the royal viceroy. He was not a nice man. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. Mmm, good burrito. <laughs> Hope you had something tasty while I was gone. Now, where were we? Add one cup of flour to eggs and whisk thoroughly through until smooth. Add heavy cream. <laughs> huh? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Wrong book. Oh. Huh? 
Although that one was getting pretty interesting. Now then, so the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to help Prince John marry so he could be king. But time was running out for him to find a bride. I have dreamed for a mate who cared about life and beauty and the world around her. And me. Me would be nice. You didn't find anyone you could marry? Year after year, I spend my days alone. No one comes near, I'm always on my own. The only life I've known. Dreaming every night, I'll find Princess Wright. A woman who'll demand me, who'll love and understand me. When will she meet me? When will she greet me? She is the woman who will complete me. Where is she hiding? Where is she residing? Things will be so fine on the day she is mine. On the day she is mine. In all my days of searching, I have found but one, and she will not marry me. You found, you found one? Yes. She is caring and compassionate. Her name is Elizabeth. <sighs> and she is a commoner. Oh, a commoner. A commoner! <gasps> Prince John told the royal food taster. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Are you quite finished? Fine. So Prince John told the royal food taster about the woman named Elizabeth, who lived in a cottage in the blue forest to be near the animal she so dearly loved and cared for. She would feed the friendly squirrels. She would feed the stray cats and dogs. She would feed the colorful bluebird. She would feed mice and moles. And she would even feed the real disgusting creatures you sometimes find out in the woods. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. Ah, uh, that's because I love them. I love you too, Prince John. But I will not be your bride. Huh? Why not? The man I marry must show he has extraordinary heart. I have heart. You are a good man, Prince John, but you have lived a pampered life. You have never been called upon to show you possess that quality. <sighs> that is sadly true. <laughs> How before the deadline could I possibly prove to her I am all that? I cannot even prove it to myself. Sure you can. You go out to the blue forest, find your lady love, and convince her to be your bride. You oh, think I should? You're the hero of this story. Act like it. Ah, my cat is right. I'm always right. <laughs> I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now! Huh? Hold on, back in a sec. <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks. I don't know why I thank him. I can't talk and he can't hear me. Okay, now, where was I? Oh, yes, the prince admitted his cat was right, and... Well, if you wanted pizza, you should have ordered eight of them like I did. The prince said... I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now! Like a man possessed, the prince rode his fiery charger out of the castle 
and off towards the blue forest. He was determined not to return until he reached his lady love and convinced her to become his bride. Don't get so happy yet, it's not that easy. Meanwhile, the dashing cat thought his troubles were over. See how it works, pup? Prince John will get her to marry him, the evil viceroy will not become king, and all my problems will be solved. <laughs> wow. Oh no! What's a shoe size? Yeah. Some perfume! Not all my problems will be solved. And this still is a bad color for me. Look! It's a puppy dog! Puppy dog! It's a puppy dog! <laughs> Looks like the prince is heading up into the blue forest. So, like, if he convinces Ow. the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? He won't convince her because he won't get to her. There's only one road into the blue forest, and I've arranged to have it guarded by someone. <laughs> Towards the blue forest, Prince John rode, determined that nothing would stop him from reaching his fair Elizabeth. But something could stop him. He could be stopped by... Uh, the thing that could stop him was... Oh, wait, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, good heavens, look what time it is. I have to go annoy the mailman. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just you, Garfield. I thought maybe you'd have some trick in mind to scare me. Yeah. You know, like dressing up as a fire-breathing dragon. Huh? Me? Sweet, kindly me? Fire-breathing dragon, huh? Hmm. Well, here's your mail. Scaring the mailman is not nice, but it is part of my job description. <laughs> Bill, 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 John has jury duty. Bill, fire-breathing dragon, huh? <clears throat> but as Prince John made his way into the forest, Prince John rode as a man possessed. Determined to reach the fair Elizabeth, a man he encountered warned him of the danger that lay ahead. A fire-breathing dragon? Up the road a piece. You can't miss him. He's a dragon and he breathes fire. I will not be denied my true love. I am not afraid of any fire-breathing <coughs> dragon. <coughs> Unfortunately, my horse is. But I will not be denied! Deeper and deeper into the forest he went. But there was no sign of this monster he'd been warned about. Fire-breathing dragon, ha! What nonsense! What foolishness! <coughs> <coughs> What am I doing here? No, I wouldn't exactly describe Prince John as brave. Eh, uh, courageous? No. Stupid? You're getting warmer. I guess the word that best describes him is... Barbecued. I'd say medium rare. Somehow, the prince made it back to the castle. There, spirits were down and taxes were going up. A tax on using adverbs. A tax on clipping your toenails on a Wednesday. A tax on your name, Michael. Prince John turns 21 at noon tomorrow. If he isn't married, that nasty man becomes king. What are we going to do? A tax on not making up your mind? Hmm. You know that real dumb thing Prince John just tried? Uh, well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to try it too. And so the adorable cat and the not-too-bright dog set off for the blue forest. 
Prior to takeoff, please make sure that your seat and tray tables are in the upright position and that all electronic devices are powered off. Are you ready? And away we go! I hope someone comes by to pass out those little bags of peanuts. They had gotten about as far as Prince John got when... Do not be afraid, faithful and furry friend. There's no reason to be afraid of a fire-breathing dragon. None whatsoever. I'll be back in the castle. Let me know how things turn out. And there they stood. The brave cat and the mediocre dog, face to face with the dragon. And then... And then... And then... And then... You know what goes great after pizza? A tuna salad sandwich on rye. Once upon a time, that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Next in line was the royal viceroy. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. If he convinces the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? I'll come back and finish the story right after I have my tuna sandwich. Quit shoving, I'm going, I'm going. Now, where did I leave off? Oh, right. The superior cat and the adequate dog were face to face with a fire-breathing dragon. There are times, my canine friend, when one must stand tall against an enemy and not flee in terror. This is not one of those times. Escape the dragon for now. Huh? They still had a problem. In order to reach this woman, we have to go up this road. The dragon will be waiting for us. But the cat was not only handsome, he was smart. And an idea came to him. It seems like a rotten thing to do to anyone, even a fire breathing dragon. But this is a desperate situation. Come on. <laughs> Here, you take one, and I'll take the other. Kitty cat, <laughs> we want to play with the dragon. We want to play with the dragon. He's so adorable. He's such a cute dragon. Oh. Let's use the dragon. We could use a moisturizer. He has such nice coloring. Let's <laughs> use a permanent! I'll do this! Yeah. 
and apologize for being so mean to you before. Hey, we all feel a little dragony when we don't look our best. If you want to make it up to us, how about a lift? Sure, where to? There's a lady named Elizabeth who lives in a cottage in the Blue Forest. Oh, sure. The one who takes care of animals and won't marry the prince? <laughs> And so they all headed for the dwelling of the lovely Elizabeth. Finally, the magnificent cat had had enough. He abandoned Drusilla and Minerva in the forest, and they were never seen again. Huh? Oh, you're right. That's too rotten even for me. I, I mean for the wonderful cat. No, he didn't do that. We want to be more, we want to be more, we want to be more, we want to be more. We'll drop these adorable children safely off at the castle, then head up there. Happy now? Well now, here comes real trouble. As they rode, they passed one of the animals that Elizabeth fed, a repulsive little cat named Nur uh, named Lamrin. <laughs> yeah, Lamrin. Lamrin was the only animal Elizabeth fed who wasn't nice. In fact... Hey, if I tell the Viceroy about this, he'll reward me when he becomes king. <laughs> He ran all the way to the castle and spilled the beans. Maybe he'll name me officially the cutest kitty cat in the kingdom. <laughs> Looks that way. They're probably going to try and convince Elizabeth to marry the prince. If she does, he becomes king instead of me. That would destroy my whole plan to loot the kingdom. Well, I help you out. So what's my reward? I'll give you a reward. Mail him to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> oh, did I say Abu Dhabi? Sorry, I read that wrong. <clears throat> what he actually said was, I'll give you a reward. Throw him in the tower! <gasps> but why? <laughs> I hate snitches. But I'm loyal. I'm cute. I'm cute and loyal. And did I make it adorable? While you're at it, throw the prince in there with him. I'm not taking any chances, and I better take care of that woman he wants to marry. The royal dog catcher threw Lamron in the prison tower, and then he threw the prince in there with him. You can't do this to me. I'm the ruler of this kingdom. Not after tomorrow, you ain't. While the viceroy went to visit a wicked witch he kept on staff, I asked for a poison apple. Ah, oh, apples are too healthy. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. You'll see what it does when the royal food taster gets here. <laughs> royal food taster! Any food you need tasted today? Maybe something yummy? Try some of this. Mmm, smells simply scrumptious. <laughs> Hmm, not bad. Could use a pinch of oregano, maybe a drop of olive oil. And I would suggest them maybe... <laughs> Will he sleep forever? He'll sleep until a true love comes and kisses him. <laughs> That'll be forever. Hmm. All right, go. Take care of her. I will. But first, I'll transform myself. Into someone she would never suspect was a week in the witch. Room! Oh. <laughs> 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 Off she went with the spaghetti of doom. Before long, she was there. There's her cottage! Here you go, a little mole. <laughs> Here you go, a little chicken. She's so nice to us. I ought to lay her an egg. 
I would too if I could. Which one is the right choice? The man who can stand up and fight. The one who has the most haunting voice. The artist who has a gift to write. If he said he needs me, I'd feel like my life had begun. Which one is the right choice? Which one? <coughs> Hello, is uh, anybody at home? Yes! Buongiorno, bellissima. I see you feed all the animals. I thought it was about time someone fed you. Why, that's very nice of you. <laughs> no, I can't tell her not to eat the spaghetti of doom. She invited the chef in. It smells delicious, but I'm on a diet. I shouldn't be eating pasta. But I slaved over a hot cauldron, I mean a, a, a stove all day. Just a taste. <laughs> well, since you worked so hard on it, <laughs> yes. Broom. And so the evil witch had succeeded in her... <laughs> Quiet, Odie. The evil witch had succeeded in her mission, largely because the heroic cat and OK dog arrived two minutes too late. Two minutes can make all the difference in the world. Two minutes can mean life and love and happiness. Or it can mean this. <laughs> huh? Odie, it's just a story. Odie! Doesn't that dog understand this is a fairy tale? I'm going to have to find him and explain that to him. But first, I'm going to get something to eat. Why don't you join me? Once upon a time, that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. I asked for a poison apple. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. Want to hear the rest of the story? It has a happy ending. Not everything in life does, but fairy tales do. That's what's great about them. But if you don't want to hear it... Okay, have a seat. Well, as you can imagine, the animals were all very sad about what had happened to the lovely Elizabeth. She was always so kind to us. 
Hey, who's that cat that just arrived? That's Prince John's cat, I think. <laughs> Prince John's cat? I've always admired him. He's so wonderful. Uh, where'd he go? He's inside the cottage. Mm. Sorry, I smelled the spaghetti bolognese and I had to have a taste. <laughs> Oh, and they could use uh, just a touch of basil. <laughs> Maybe Elizabeth is just asleep. But she snores way more dainty. They quickly discussed what they had to do. It was the beautiful lady cat who came up with the answer. We have to get him to a wizard. Where are you going to find the wizard at this hour? Oh, oh, I know where there's a wizard near here who's open 24 hours. Well then, let's get in there. Through the forest they raced, raced to the dwelling of Merle, the all-night we never close wizard. It looks like the spaghetti of doom. My wife used to make that. You've got to help him, oh great wizard. You just have to. I can't help him, but you can. He sleeps the sleep of magic. I can only be awakened by a kiss from one who loves him. Judging by the concern on your face, I would say that's you. You mean, just kiss him? <laughs> ah, give it a shot. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Is there any more of that great spaghetti? Wow, it worked! <laughs> Not only did they wake up the superb cat, but they learned something else. Is that how to awaken our friend Elizabeth? Indeed! A kiss from a true love is all that is required. And I know who her true love is. Come on, let's go get Prince John. <laughs> doing here? We just heard terrible news. Yes, this bluebird tells us that the Viceroy has locked Prince John in the tower. Huh? Huh? He can't do that. Mm. We need Prince John to kiss Elizabeth and awaken her. And then he needs to marry her so he can be king and stop that evil man. Oh my gosh! I mean, I but the wise cat knew there was only one answer to the problem. We are! Everybody, follow me! And so all the animals went off to rescue Prince John and also save the fair Elizabeth. As they marched towards the castle, others joined in, animals who'd been befriended over the years by Elizabeth. What at the castle? The evil Viceroy had decided not to wait to seize power. Guard, from now on you are to address me as your highness and follow orders. Is that clear? Yes, your highness. But you aren't king until tomorrow. And only if Prince John doesn't marry. Ha, how can he marry? He's in the tower prison, and the one woman who he'd marry is sleeping for all eternity. <laughs> I'm taking the throne now. <laughs> Your Highness, there's an army marching on the castle. An army? An army of barbarians? An army of pirates? It seems to be an army of squirrels. And cats, and dogs, and chickens. <laughs> Just keep the gate locked. We have nothing to fear from squirrels, and cats, and dogs, and chickens. While up in the tower... It is no use. Even if I could escape from the cell, Elizabeth will not marry me. Sure she would. She's crazy about you. Uh, she is? Sure. She thinks you're even cuter than I am, and that's real cute. 
You just need to convince her you're brave and good. I am, but how do I prove it to... What's that commotion? The Prince had no idea what was going on, and the rescue party didn't have much more of one either. How do we get inside the castle? Yeah, the gate is locked. I know. Huh? I'll dig us a tunnel inside. How long will that take? Oh, not more than a oh. month or two. We don't have time for that. <gasps> Leave it to me. <laughs> oh! Stop them! Stop those animals! <laughs> Somebody kiss me? We have a nice podcast! Yeah, we're gonna try it on! Wow! My friends have taken over the whole castle! Do you think somebody's going to rescue oh. us? Consider yourself rescued! Okay. Not you! Uh, we gotta get out of here. I'm going to take the tax money I've collected so far and flee! Uh, we're with you! you. It looked like the bad guys were gonna escape with all the money the evil viceroy had stolen from the people of the city. <laughs> <laughs> the viceroy, his aide, and the wicked wits fled in terror of the dragon. <laughs> Turn the catapult so it faces the castle. You want to get away from the dragon? Quick, use the catapult. Get right in and I'll fling you to safety. Thank you. <laughs> All comfy now? Good. <laughs> huh? No, we're not to the happier ever after part yet. We still have to wake up the fair Elizabeth and get her to marry Prince John, remember? <laughs> After that, it was pretty simple. Prince John kissed Elizabeth. She woke up and realized who had saved her. Oh, you, Prince John. Aww. And all these animals. He was willing to fight a fire-breathing dragon for you. For me. <laughs> it seems you do have heart and courage. Then will you honor me by joining your heart to mine in marriage? But of course. Aww. We'll be happy together, truly birds of a feather. Having someone who cares answered my prayers. We will be happy, happy, we'll be so happy. If they put us on trial, we'll be gone for a while. Sail will be our home. I once wore the crown 
Now you're going down. I'm together all the way. I wish good times upon ya. Lots of pie and lasagna. We will be happy, 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 so happy. We'll be happy together. Any storm we can weather. Having someone to hold, better than gold. We will be happy, happy, we'll be so happy. We will be happy. Well, at least they finally picked out a good color for me. <laughs> but apart from that, everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, look, the prince and the fair Elizabeth are home. I, I mean, John and Liz. Garfield, did you eat our picnic? Must be time for lunch or dinner or some meal. So, did you like the story, boy? Perfect day. I woke up late, had breakfast, went back to bed, woke up again, had breakfast. Yeah, a perfect day. And no one is gonna ruin it. Hi, Garfield. Except, of course, Lucky. Goff, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem. Oh. No. I have a whole bunch of fleas, and I can't get rid of them. Oh, well, you can keep them. Hey, uh, oh. you have nothing to worry about. They love huh? my fur and they won't leave. Here, listen to them. <laughs> oh, I love this cat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, that's funny. No, it isn't. Believe me. All right, all hey. right. Ah, let me see. I got it. You need to find an even better home for them. Oh, yeah, right. That's genius. It's very simple. We find a human who smells like cats and dogs. So where, pray tell, will we find a smelly place? In here. Ah, oh, the city pound? <laughs> of course. Hey, this ain't gonna work. I tried it, and they'll just come right back to me. You and I just smell like cats. He smells like cats and dogs. Trust me, fleas prefer a buffet, so just keep dancing. Glad to do a favor for a friend. Hey, Garfield ah. the Wise, mm. could you let me out of here? Bruno! Uh, sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> See you later, guys. I've got a perfect day to get back to. <laughs> that Garfield, <laughs> he's one smart cat. Yeah, I saw how he solved your fleet problem. Hey, do you think... <laughs> Do you think you could help me with the little, uh, romantic problem I have? Hmm? Sure. Garfield can fix anything. <sighs> As I said before, no one is gonna ruin this perfect day. Mm. Except, of course, Odie. You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it, boy? I was prepared for this. <laughs> Okay, put the stick in that bowl there. Good. Now fetch. 
We won't see him again until around, oh, season four. <sighs> now where was I? Oh yes, a perfect day calls for a perfect nap. So I'm just gonna kind of saw. Yo, coffee! <laughs> This day is getting less and less perfect, if you ask me. I was wondering if you could maybe, uh, help me with the little problem I have. No. Good. It's my girlfriend, Trixie. She broke up with me on account of she doesn't think I'm nice enough. Smart lady, that Trixie. Can you fix it so she thinks I'm real heroic? Are you gonna stick around and annoy me until I do? If that's what it takes. <gasps> this way. <laughs> That's her. That's Trixie over there. <laughs> you gotta convince her I'm a good guy. First, you gotta find someone to convince me. I'm convinced. Okay, what if she sees you help that little old lady across the street? Uh, I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to help Ow. a little old lady across the street? Here, I'll show you. Madame, may I lend you a paw? You're trying to steal my purse, you bad cat! Oh, hey. lady, a cat is trying to steal her purse! Somebody, help her, somebody! I will help her! Bad cat! Awful cat! What do you got in that purse, bowling balls or anvils? I will save you, madam! Uh, Bruno! You're such a hero. Oh, it was nothing. I just like to help folks. Good. Help me. I had you all wrong, Bruno. You solved my problem, Garfield the Wise. Let me know if you ever need anything. An ambulance would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll be all right. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe I can enjoy the rest of this perfect day, but I doubt it. Ah, no one around. Let's see how long this nap lasts. Three seconds, the new world's record. Don't tell me, let me guess. You have a problem. And you saw me solve Bruno's problem, so you figure Garfield the Wise can solve yours. <sighs> okay, what is it? Like Harry's planning a bluebird lunch. You wait here. Uh huh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, aha. There it is. John's leftover meatloaf. Here's something you may never see again food I won't eat. A little shaping here, a little there. A lot of people don't know it, but some of the greatest sculptors in history did their first work in meatloaf. Now we just need a little blue food coloring. Mm. <laughs> a masterpiece. <laughs> Looks like you missed, Harry. Yeah, but I'll catch one any day now. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Have you ever caught a bluebird in your entire life? Never, but I just know they taste delicious. Oh, they're not bad. You caught a bluebird? Hey, a cat's got to eat. Oh, Garfield, pal of mine, can I have a taste? Just give me one teensy-weensy taste. <sighs> Well... All my life I've dreamed of eating a bluebird. Please, Garfield. <laughs> Give me that last line again. Uh, sure. Uh, all my life I've dreamed of eating a bluebird. Please, Garfield. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. All right. <laughs> yeah. Can I interest you in seconds? 
no! I don't want another bluebird, not now, not ever! Who would have thought they'd pay so lousy? They're almost as bad as that meatloaf his human makes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I don't think you'll have to worry about Harry anymore. Ah, uh, now. I am finally gonna have my perfect day nap. Hey, Garfield. <gasps> I ordered cheese three weeks ago and it hasn't arrived. And I <laughs> sent away for new glasses and they haven't shown up yet. My huh? owner is feeding me dog food that tastes like something in a rock garden. Huh? You're so hot in my coop. My eggs are coming out so boiled. Probably. Yeah, mine too. Oh, oh, my God. I need my I'm gonna solve my problem and get out of here. I need to solve my problem. How to get away from all of their problems. I can solve your problems. Tell us. How can you solve our problems, Garfield the Wise? Well, I won't solve them. I advise you to take them to Odie the Wiser. Solve my cheese problems, Odie the Wiser. I need new glasses, Odie the Wiser. About my dog food. Most of these folks could solve their own problems if they just tried instead of asking someone else. So finally, I have no problems, mine or anyone else's. Why don't you watch where you're going? Don't I have enough problems with these fleas that I can't... Hey, I'm not scratching. The fleas are gone! The fleas are gone! Gone? <laughs> Where'd they go? Uh-oh. I think I know where they went. Poor cat. He needs to find someone to solve his problems. 